When testing an application, it's not uncommon to want to limit the rate of requests that you send against that target app. This might be from the rules of engagement, or maybe you're just testing a production application and you really want to minimize the impact that you're going to have on that application, which might not be able to handle very much load. Uh, so what we want to do is limit the number of requests we send uh, per second from Burp. The problem with this is that there is no universal setting within Burp to do this. So one way you can do this is proxy burp to another tool, um, but that gets a little bit messy and uh, can be challenging to set up. Luckily, there is an extension that we can use that can throttle our traffic um, burp wide, and it's called distribute damage. So we can install that from the burp bap store as I'm doing now, and that's going to give you this little uh, additional menu item up at the top of burp. And if I click on that, it's going to open up the configuration here. I'm only going to focus on two of the settings right now. You can ignore the rest. The two important settings here are throttle and pause all traffic. So what throttle is going to do is it's going to set an amount of time in milliseconds. So 1000 would be one second here between all of your uh, outgoing automated requests. What does that mean when I say automated request? Uh, that means tools like uh, intruder, scanner, extensions, uh, any tool that is automated is going to be throttled uh, by this rule. However, you can still intercept traffic with proxy. You can send requests in repeater that are not going to be impacted uh, by this. So you can set a global rate limit for all of your automated tools without impacting your manual testing, which is really nice. You can also click this option, pause all traffic, if you really need to just instantly stop all of the traffic you know, going from all of those tools. Uh, but here we'll just evaluate really quick the throttle. So I have it set at one second. Actually, let me uh, for uh, uh, effect really turn that up. So I'm going to make that three seconds. And what I'm going to do is do a really boring attack. I'm going to go to repeater. You'll see I have a JavaScript file here. So we're not going to get anything interesting here, but I'm going to send it to intruder. And I'm just going to append uh, some parameter, which I'll call some param. And it's going to be a numeric value, which is what we're going to target with Intruder. And I'm going to set the payload to numbers. So basically, I'm just going to iterate from 1 to 100 here. And this attack, even though I have the resource pool here set to uh, 10 concurrent requests, if I click uh, Start Attack, what we are going to see is that this attack adheres to that restriction from distribute damage. Every three seconds, we get another request out. And what you'll also see is that if I go over to repeater here, I can send as many requests at whatever rate I want within repeater without restriction. So that's just a very good way to set a global rate limit for all of your automated tools within Burp. If you have to uh, be under some minimum supplied by the rules of engagement or your client, or if you just really want to avoid impact to a production uh, server or some service that can't handle a lot of load.